the Jazz 39 Gripen. A capable fighter, but not without flaws, the Saab Jazz 39 Gripen is an undeniably impressive aircraft. Renowned for its agility, affordability, and advanced technology, it's carved a niche for itself in the global fighter jet market. But even the most ardent Gripen admirer would have to admit it's not without its shortcomings. Let's delve into some of the key weaknesses of this Swedish-born warbird. Punching below its weight in air-to-air -air combat while the Gripen packs a decent punch with its AESA radar and weaponry, its air-to-air -air prowess pales in comparison to heavyweight contenders like the F-15 Eagle or Su-35 Flanker E, its single-engine design translates to less power and agility compared to its twin-engine counterparts. In a close-quarters dogfight, the Gripen might find itself outmatched by a heavier, faster opponent. This isn't to say it's a pushover, but its limitations in sustained turning performance and raw power are undeniable. Fuel woes. A range anxiety for the Gripen, the Gripen's Achilles heel lies in its limited range. Range. Compared to other jets in its class, it has a smaller internal fuel capacity, restricting its operational reach. This can be a major drawback for nations with vast airspaces to patrol. To bridge this gap, Gripens often rely on external fuel tanks. However, these add weight and drag, compromising the jet's agility and performance, a classic case of robbing Peter to pay Paul. A niche market and logistical hurdles Saab, the Swedish manufacturer behind the Gripen, is a formidable player, but its market share pales in comparison to giants like Lockheed Martin or Boeing. This translates to a smaller user base and a less extensive logistical support network. For countries operating Gripens, this can mean difficulties in acquiring spare parts and technical assistance, especially if they're geographically distant from Sweden. Specialization elusive. A jack-of-all-trades, master of none, currently the Gripen comes in several variants, each tailored for specific roles. However, there's no dedicated stealth variant. This makes the Gripen more susceptible to radar detection compared to newer stealth-optimized jets like the F-35 Lightning II. While versatility is valuable, the lack of a true stealth option might be a deal-breaker for nations prioritizing low observability. Price tag, not exactly a budget-friendly fighter, while the Gripen boasts low operating costs. Its initial acquisition price is higher than some of its competitors in the same category. This can be a significant barrier for countries with limited defense budgets. The verdict, a capable contender, but not without reservations, the JAS-39 Gripen is undoubtedly a capable and respected fighter jet. Its agility, affordability, and technological advancements make it a compelling choice for many air forces. However, its limitations in air-to-air -air combat, range, logistical support, and stealth capabilities must be carefully considered before making a decision. Ultimately, the Gripen's suitability hinges on a nation's specific needs and priorities.